Now that Republicans finally have a Speaker of the House and the real work can begin, I obviously use the word work charitably here because we're talking about Republicans. Anyways, the Speaker fight is over and Marjorie Taylor Greene excitedly tweeted out a hype video letting everyone know what to expect, saying it's time to begin and they can't stop what's coming. Now, as you can see here, we can't actually watch the video because it was taken down with a message by Twitter saying this media has been disabled in response to a report by the copyright owner. Now, I'm not sure about you all, but I didn't get to see the video and I'm definitely feeling FOMO currently because the description that we get about the video from Mediaite leads me to believe that it would have been just wonderful. They explained the video, which Green uploaded to Twitter, features a portion of Dr. Dre's song, Still Dre, playing on loop in the background as slow-mo shots of Green exiting her office and walking around the halls of Congress are shown. The video ended with a black and white montage of Green's 11th hour phone call with former President Donald Trump, along with footage of McCarthy securing the speaker position on the 15th vote. So essentially, the video was cringe, auto fellatio, with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg playing the background. Why would she choose that? Why wouldn't you choose Ted Nugent or some other Republican singer? Because do you really think that like hip hop are the vibes that would be appropriate for you? It's just bizarre. Either way, Dr. Dre kind of had the same response that we all would have had to Marjorie Green choosing one of his songs. And he went after her. He told TMZ, I don't license my music to politicians, especially someone as divisive and hateful as this one. And he later ended up taking legal action against her to get the video removed from Twitter. TMZ reports, turns out Dr. Dre's team took action, reaching out to Twitter to get the video taken down. As a result, Marjorie Taylor Greene tells us that she's been locked out of her Twitter account for using Dre's copyrighted work without permission. MTG also has some words of her own for Dr. Dre. In an exclusive statement to TMZ, she says, while I appreciate the creative court progression, I would never play your words of violence against women and police officers and your glorification of the thug life and drugs. Mm -hmm. I love how she's pretending that she's not mad. Oh, I'm not mad. I don't even like your music anyway. Of course you're mad and you're coping because now you were locked out of your Twitter account, something that in the past you've stated you care very much about. The best way for all of this to end would be for Marjorie Taylor Greene to release a rap diss track against Dr. Dre I think that if we got that from all of this with Marjorie Taylor Greene rapping, kind of like Linda Paulson's rap, do you remember her? It would be so amazing, so good, albeit cringeworthy, that it might actually rip a hole in the space-time continuum. But... Dr. Dre's attorney, Howard King, sent a letter to Marjorie Taylor Greene, and in it, yes, it's a legal cease and desist, but I want to read it to you because this isn't just some boring technical legal jargon letter. He dragged her in this letter. We'll read some of it here. Dear Miss Taylor Greene, you are wrongfully exploiting this work through the various social media outlets to promote your divisive and hateful political agenda. Mr. Young, that's Dre, has not and will never grant you permission to broadcast or disseminate any of his music. One might expect that as a member of Congress, you would have a passing familiarity with the laws of our country. It's possible, though, that laws governing intellectual property are a little too arcane and insufficiently populist for you to really have spent much time on. We're writing because we think an actual lawmaker should be making laws, not breaking laws, especially those embodied in the Constitution by the Founding Fathers. The United States copy Copyright Act says a lot of things, but one of the things it says is that you can't use someone else's song for your political campaign promotions unless you get permission from the owner of the copyright in the song, a step you failed to take. Now, here's the best part here. So they're demanding that she cease and desist further unauthorized use of Dre's music, and they're requesting, quote, written confirmation that you have complied with these demands before January 11th. So in other words, not only are we blocking you from playing our music without our permission, but we're requesting that you send us a written letter confirming that you've stopped using our music and you understand what we're saying. Just brilliantly played by Dr. Dre's people. Now, listen, I'm going to be honest here. I'm a bit of a hypocrite on this particular issue. Usually, I think that these copyright laws are a bit too strict. I think that... Lots of times when people use these songs, 
they're promoting this music, right? But when it comes to individuals like Marjorie Taylor Greene, who wouldn't for a second hesitate to take legal action against one of her political opponents if she had the ability to do so, I have no problem with this. Not going to shed a tear for Marjorie Taylor Greene. I think that copyright laws in this country are indeed antiquated, as Dr. Dre's attorney kind of alluded to in that letter. But when it comes to Marjorie Taylor Greene, since her personal philosophy is F you, I don't really mind seeing her get a taste of her own medicine. And really, when it comes to these politicians like Donald Trump, who keep using these copyrighted songs without the permission of the copyrighted holders, I just don't understand what they're expecting because you're a polarizing politician. So do you honestly think that these artists would feel comfortable with you using their songs? I mean, was there, just going back to her original video, which I regret not being able to see, was there not a more appropriate song for you of all people to, I don't know, to play? Uh, maybe the Banjo-Kazooie theme song. I love the Banjo-Kazooie theme song, but like something with a banjo and like, I don't know, just, you get what I'm saying? Like the vibes with Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's a trash person. She's a terrible human being. So like something that represents her stupidity more sufficiently would have been better. Not Still Dre. Like that song, it kind of, it's a badass song. Nothing about Marjorie Taylor Greene screams badass or subversiveness or outsider she's an imbecile and she's trying to use her power as a politician to make the lives of ordinary working americans worse so that song is inappropriate for her she shouldn't be using that but now it's gonna cost her because she got locked out of her twitter account and this entire kerfuffle is hilarious and entertaining to me and i hope it continues i hope she continues to egg on dr dre i hope he continues to attack her i like this stuff you know, American politics, it doesn't necessarily produce good outcomes for Americans, but at least we can all laugh at the stupidity of it all, right? Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralism, woke moralism, woke moralism. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital way. region was exposed. I let her have her way.